Alas, February has turned out to be incredibly bullish for the cryptocurrency market. The total capitalization increased from some $1.7 trillion on February 1st to where it is currently at above $2.07 trillion, a whopping over 21% increase. I mean, that deserves some drum rolls. Bitcoin surge was shocking, and it is interesting how many things became revitalized after the big move. Now, an altcoin season is imminent, and we're hoping to see how well Cardano will perform. This is just February, and many things are already working according to plan. The crux of this interesting season is that many catalysts in the upcoming months could further improve the market's performance. Plus, it is time for altcoins to thrive. Ethereum has been a frontrunner in February, pushing above $3,000 for the first time since 2022. It appears that the bulls are back in town for Ethereum, which is up 35% in the past 30 days. On this note, there is an important update coming in March, and it is called Dencoon. The name comes from combining the two cities, Cancun and Deneb, and the focus of this Ethereum hard fork is the scalability through the implementation of data blobs. According to reports, this is a new transaction type that is intended to scale information availability for Layer 2 rollups. From an expert's perspective, keep a close eye on Ethereum in the upcoming months and years. Following the transition to a proof-of-stake consensus mechanism, attention is primarily centered on price action rather than the fundamental advantages for users. The move to a proof of stake served as the initial catalyst, and the imminent Dencoon upgrade represents the second major catalyst, addressing crucial concerns related to scalability and high fees. The introduction of proto dank sharding is poised to effectively tackle these significant end user challenges that will likely cause rapid adoption and increased scalability. Another expert commented Moving into March, there are many reasons to be bullish on Ethereum. Total Ethereum futures contracts are reaching over $10 billion, a 50% increase since the start of 2024, making strong market interest. Further to that, the first Ethereum ETF is inching closer to completion, while the growth of restaking is capturing more Ethereum, effectively removing it from circulation for the foreseeable future and thus reducing sell pressure. Finally, on the tech front, Ethereum's next major upgrade, Dencoon, is running smoothly on the Holoski testnet, suggesting that we shouldn't have to wait long for scaling features such as protodank sharding to make their mainnet debut. For these reasons, you don't want to fade Ethereum right now. Okay, so we are ready. Then, speaking about Solana, it has equally had a tremendous performance in the past few months, skyrocketing to one of the top 5 largest cryptocurrencies using total market capitalization. Sol even passed BNB for a while for the 4th spot. Sol was trading at $58 towards the end of November, but now it is trading above $100 for a whopping 77% surge. While February was also positive for Sol, it appears that the cryptocurrencies have so far failed to keep up with other top gainers like Ethereum, and even Bitcoin. However, as we move closer to the Bitcoin halving, explosive altcoins like Solana might continue their uptrend and are worth keeping a close eye on. And yes, we gotta talk about XRP too. Now this may come as a surprise to some, giving XRP's relatively stale performance in the past few months, but it has spiked by almost 10% in February, and is among the better performers. As we head into March, the date of the trial with the US Securities and Exchange Commission draws ever closer. Recall that Ripple is in a massive legal battle with the commission, and the much-anticipated trial is set to start on April 23rd. If the trial starts going in Ripple's favor, this will likely have an impact on the XRP price as well. So now we ask the question, is this an altcoin season? Well, recently a top crypto analyst explained that one artificial intelligence-focused altcoin will see much higher prices in the coming weeks. This was the pseudonymous analysis, The Flow Horse. And he told his followers on X that the NATO token of the decentralized machine learning network Fetch AI is about to print a new all-time high. According to the trader, Fed spot cumulative volume delta has been on the rise, suggesting that market participants are heavily accumulating the altcoin. A tweet read, Fed is knocking on making new all-time highs after a detour of just over two years. This is going to run hard over the coming months. No other narrative has legs like AI because AI is still early to its own story. That spot CBD in blue is up only. Furthermore, we have the wild card Cardano. In the fast evolving landscape of cryptocurrencies, Cardano 88 stands out with its recent surge, promising a paradigm shift with its upcoming upgrades. Although sentiments surrounding Cardano have been lukewarm, despite its resilience in price. However, the imminent Chang hard fork, slated for the first half of 2024, along with the Plutus V3 upgrade, is poised to redefine Cardano's trajectory. This is likely going to be a quantum leap. With this update, Cardano is gearing up for a transformative journey with the Chang hard fork and the Plutus V3 upgrade. Scheduled to roll out in the first half of 2024, these developments indicate a pivotal moment for the blockchain platform, heralding significant achievements in its infrastructure and capabilities. Meanwhile, this seems like just the beginning. Charles Hoskinson, the visionary founder of Cardano, 
recently hailed these upgrades as monumental steps forward. In an expose, Huskinson hammered on the game-changing nature of Plutus V3, which will be introduced alongside the Chang hard fork. Besides, he underscored its implications for Cardano's decentralized applications and its interoperability with other blockchains. It is more than what we think. Notably, the Chang hard fork, according to Hoskinson, is not just an upgrade, but a strategic milestone in ADA's journey towards complete community governance. It ushers in the inception of the Volunteer Era, aligning with Cardano's ambitious roadmap for 2024 as outlined in the CIP 1694 proposal. From the perspective of industry experts, the upgrades are poised to elevate Cardano's smart contract capabilities, enhance interoperability, and foster a more robust development landscape. Such advancements are crucial for expanding the Cardano ecosystem, attracting developers, and increasing adoption. This is why Cardano has an edge in the altcoin market. In addition, the Plus V3 upgrade is anticipated to drive demand for ADA. The coin price has indeed exhibited sluggish trading performance from mid-December 2023 to January end of 2024, yet it could witness renewed interest and price appreciation driven by these technological advancements. Moreover, the faithful Cardano community also echoed Hoskinson's sentiments, with Cardano Yoda highlighting the myriad of possibilities unlocked by Plutus V3. He pointed out that the upgrade will introduce advanced primitives and tools, empowering developers to create more sophisticated smart contracts with enhanced performance, throughput, and size optimization. However, as bullish as Cardano sounds now, it is important to consider the possibility of pitfalls. Crypto analyst Alertinez recently took to X to issue a cautionary note to investors and enthusiasts of the digital currency. Using the TD Sequential Indicator, a tool popular among traders for identifying price trends and potential reversal points, Martinez highlighted a sell signal on the Cardano 3-day chart. Martinez further noted that the last two times the indicator signaled a bearish trend, ADA has experienced a price correction. Now, this development has raised eyebrows across the crypto community given the indicator's historical accuracy in forecasting price movements for ADA, but this is 2024, and it remains a bull year. Plus, historically, Bitcoin's performance always navigates the altcoin season. Bitcoin experienced a sharp correction on February 20th, sinking as much as 4% from an intraday high of $53,019 to a low of $50,812, threatening to wipe out the gains of the past bullish week. This pullback led traders to reevaluate the general condition of the crypto market, initiating an argument on whether the altcoin season is right on track. Traders and market analysts believe the ongoing price crash is part of the five phases of the Bitcoin halving cycle, and that Bitcoin might be experiencing a pre-halving retracement before entering a widely expected post-halving parabolic uptrend. Also, crypto trader and analyst Red Capital shared a chart in a post on X, saying that Bitcoin has one last pre-having retrace left, before resuming the uptrend. Market intelligence firm Santiment also pointed out significant moves in the mid-tier traders often work as excellent signals for profit-taking and dip buys. A tweet read, In the past two weeks, stablecoin holders with 10k to 100k added $44.3 million in USDT. This is an indication that they could be getting ready to buy the dip in case of a pullback. Even the latest data from on-chain analytics firm Glassnode shows that Bitcoin and Ethereum are leading the pack with year-to-date gains of 17.6% and 18.2% respectively. Bitcoin's year-to-date performance surpasses aggregate altcoin market capitalization. Glassnode analyst Alice Kahn said, The aggregate altcoin market cap has now experienced the same performance with year-to-date growth being less than half of the two majors. Another analyst believes that many altcoins are about to skyrocket in the next all season. The analyst shared a chart showing the altcoin market cap has scaled above a significant support area and entered into a bull run similar to the 10x returns experienced in 2021, posting a tweet, we're close. And yes, we are indeed close. But that's going to do it for today's video. Make sure you click on the subscribe notification buttons and we'll see you in the next video.